So we have an improper integral that we're being asked to evaluate. Let's go ahead and work it out. Let's start by looking at the indefinite integral first uh, so that it makes our work a little bit easier. So let's consider the antiderivative of e to the x divided by 1 plus... Now let's write e to the 2x differently. Let's write it as e to the x squared. That's the same thing because 2 times x is 2x. And to integrate this, we'll just make a substitution. So we'll set u equal to e to the x, so that du is e to the x dx. And so now we're ready to do it. e to the x dx is du. So this will be the antiderivative of du over 1 plus u squared. And this is the familiar arctan formula. So this is arctan of u plus a constant and u was e to the x, so this is the arctan of e to the x plus c. Okay, now let's go back to our improper integral and carefully work it out. So we have the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the x over 1 plus e to the 2x dx. Let's break this up. We'll go, we'll go from negative infinity to 0, e to the x, over 1 plus e to the 2x, dx. Why 0? Zero? 0 is a convenient number uh, for this problem. And then 0 to infinity, e to the x, over 1 plus e to the 2x, dx. Let's keep going very, very carefully. You have to watch the notation when you do these problems. This is equal to the limit as b approaches negative infinity of the integral that goes from b to 0 of e to the x over 1 plus e to the 2x dx plus the limit as, now you can use another letter, um, let's be sloppy and use b again, it doesn't really matter, it's kind of like a dummy variable. So 0 to b, and then here we have e to the x over 1 plus e to the 2x dx. This is the limit as b approaches negative infinity. Now we can integrate this. We've already, we've already actually done it, right? It's arctan e to the x plus c. Except this is a definite integral, so we don't have to write the plus c. So this is arctan e to the x, and we're going from b to 0, plus the limit as b approaches infinity. A lot of notation here. Arctan e to the x, and here we're going from 0 to b. Let's keep going very, very carefully. So this is the, come way over here, this is equal to the limit as b approaches negative infinity. So now we actually have to evaluate arctan of e to the x at these numbers 0 and b. So first you plug in the 0, and e to the 0 is 1. So we get arctan of 1, which is pi over 4, but I'll leave it as arctan of 1 for now, minus arctan of e to the b plus, and then we have another limit here, except this limit is one where b is approaching infinity. We plug in the b first this time, so we get arctan e to the b minus, and then arctan of e to the 0. Well, e to the 0 is 1, so we get arctan of 1. And this is the part, I think, where a lot of people um, have a hard time. So let's see. Well, arctan of 1, that's, that's pi over 4. No problems there. So pi over 4. Now let's think about what's happening to arctan of, of e to the b as b approaches negative infinity. Well, as b approaches negative infinity, e to the b approaches 0. So this is the arctan of something approaching 0. 
the arctan of zero is zero, so that's going to be zero. Plus, so you have this plus here, so plus. Here, b is approaching infinity. So as b approaches infinity, e to the b also approaches infinity. And if you think about the graph of arctan, it looks like this. And so what's happening is, as e to the b approaches infinity, the arctan function is approaching this asymptote here, which is pi over 2. So this one here is going to be pi over 2. And then here we have arctan of 1, which is pi over 4. So it looks like the pi over 4 is cancel, and so we end up with pi over 2. And that's it. That's the answer. It's not really a hard problem. There's just a lot of notation, so you kind of got to be careful with it. I hope this helps.